Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Sundays with Sebastian right here on the Click Click. In case you guys are wondering, I'm filming in my grandma's room. There's just really good lighting in here. Deal with it. So this week, the theme is party week. If you guys know me, you guys know that I was born and raised in Miami. I am Hispanic. I have that Latino blood through my veins. I lived in Vegas during my high school years. So if there's one thing I know how to do, it's definitely party. I love this week's theme because there are so many stories I can literally go on forever. I'm honestly just thinking about starting a party series on my main channel just because I have so many party stories. It's literally crazy. So during high school in Vegas, I got myself into so much shit, but whatever. Let's just continue. Comment down below if you think that I should make more or if I should actually go through with it and make this a series on my main channel. So this first story started my sophomore year. I was 15, I hadn't turned 16 yet, and it was in around December during the time of the Sadie's Hawkins dance. So me and my friend, Sadie's Hawkins, in case you guys didn't know, is where that dance where the girls have to ask out the boys, and then you have to match at the dance. It wasn't formal or anything, you could wear like jeans and a t-shirt or like a jacket or whatever. That's exactly what me and my date did. One of my really, really good friends asked me out, and then we decided that we were both gonna wear jeans, a white shirt, and a leather jacket. So we were like, alright, bet. So we did that. Anyways, fast forward, we're having a good time at the dance or whatever. And then that dance was about to end, and everybody was like whispering like in the cafeteria that's where the dance was held they were like oh the after party so and so house party whatever after this because in vegas the dances go on from 7 p.m to 10 p.m obviously that's kind of early we wanted to continue the turn up and usually after homecoming or after a dance or after something there's some type of after party which would go on until like one in the morning or two or like midnight or whatever and that's exactly what happened now i had never been to one of these after parties before um usually you know i would always go to the school dances i was a student council i was always very involved with school so i always participated in these activities and but when i moved to vegas things my mom was a little hard on me just because it was like a new environment and it's vegas she didn't want me to derail little does she know just kidding i i think i'm pretty good honestly but i'm um, whatever so she never really let me go to like house parties or things like this after so i was like but all, literally all my friends were going it was kind of just like a spur in the moment type situation where literally like so many people were exiting the cafeteria getting into their cars with the seniors because it was sophomore year but like not a lot of my friends drove or actually had cars yet so my friends and like all her friends they were all going they're like oh we're going in kenny's car i didn't really even know who the fuck kenny was but whatever okay like i guess and then everybody's like oh who are you riding with how are you getting to that party this and that this and that and everybody was like kenny kenny and i'm like what the fuck like does this guy kenny drive a bus how are we all gonna fit in kenny's car so we go out of the cafeteria we leave like 10 minutes before the dance ends because we didn't want it to be suspicious it was supposed to be low-key or whatever so we leave and i noticed that like hella people are leaving too and i'm like what the hell are all these people leaving with this kenny guy and whatever we, we get to the parking lot and i realized that kenny literally drives like a four-door kia a motherfucking kia and i'm like how the fuck are we gonna fit in this car mind you it was like nine or ten people in case you're wondering if we kicked people out no we didn't literally nine or ten people all of us fit in that car so we're in that car and of course kenny's driving this guy whatever our friends are like in the in the mid in the back row it's like three on three like it's like one two three and then on top of those three it was one two three and then someone laying directly across so it was like three stacked on three so six on that that was me so seven in the back kenny was driving and then two people on the thing i honestly don't know how we did it it was so freaking uncomfortable and mind you everybody was like super turnt and like i wasn't even turned yet because i hadn't drank apparently the kenny guy was like on molly or like drunk or he was like on some type of sort of drug and i'm here and i'm like in this car and i'm like what the fuck am i doing and mind you my mom called me like a 15 minutes before the dance ended and she was like oh do you want me to pick you up or whatever and i'm like no actually like we're all going you know we're gonna do something like i'll just call you when we're done or whatever and she was like oh okay she thought it was kind of sketch but for some reason she just kind of let me through with it and usually she never kind of did she would always pick me up and whatever and then i kind of felt so guilty being in that car 
and driving to this party and when we're pulling out of the cafeteria we're driving whatever the house that we were going to was only about like 15 minutes away we just had to be in there a little longer we're almost to this house there's a red light we stop and then all of a sudden a cop pulls right next to us at the stop we're literally shitting our pants we're like shaking in the car we're like holy fucking shit and everybody's just like stay cool nobody move just look forward don't act suspicious and we're like oh my god and i'm like looking like and i'm like holy shit what the fuck like this is it there's too many of us in the car there's probably drugs in this car this kenny guy like i don't even know who the fuck he is like why the fuck did i trust my friends to get in this car like it, it was i don't even know anyways we end up getting to the house it was a good time i was there for like an hour or two and then i it got raided the cops came so and then i and everyone had to leave and my parents came and then i got picked up and then that was that i wasn't in trouble or anything though Looking back now, I do feel pretty bad for not telling my mom where I was going or who I was going with. So when I was in that car, I was just like, holy shit, like my mom's gonna be so fucking disappointed in me. Like what's gonna happen? I don't even know. But whatever, we made it to the house safely. All right, well, yeah, that was my story. I have so many more stories. I kind of really do want to do that party series on my thing where I just kind of talk about all my freaking crazy party adventures. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Click Click. And of course, feel free to subscribe to my channel as well. Watch everybody else's videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye, guys.